What is going on there, everyone? Well, hopefully this will be the last installment of Kaepernick talk on this channel. At least I so hope so. It's a good editorial piece. Good little uh, opinion type piece from the Daily Caller about the Kaepernick issue. Roger Goodell says the NFL has moved on after Colin Kaepernick workout disaster. Thank goodness. I hope this is true. I hope this is true because this will be a wonderful thing. We can get back to football the way it's supposed to be, where it's just two teams of highly overpaid athletes hitting each other. That's what Americans want to see. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell isn't wasting more time on Colin Kaepernick. When? The league graciously scheduled a workout a few weeks back for the disgraced former 49ers quarterback who kicked off national anthem protests during his final season, but uh, kept pulled out at the last minute in favor of his own event. Uh, and I, I'm sure we all remember that. It was just a few weeks back. NFL said, okay, meet us here. We're going we're gonna to set you up. We're going to hook you up. You can bring your own receivers, this, that, and the other. That's cool. You just can't bring your own cameras because this is an NFL-sanctioned event, so we're going to have our cameras out there. Uh... Well, that went completely against what Kaepernick wanted to do because this was supposed to be a big, um, like, media event for him. So, in his arrogance, in, in his uh, only trying to make himself look good, he decided that wasn't good enough for him. So he moved it to a high school field where he could have his own cameras. And instead of having 20-something NFL teams... Only seven followed there, and those seven, yeah, they didn't like what they saw out of Colin Kaepernick, but they did pick up one of his friends who was a receiver. I think he's going to the Washington Redskins practice squad, so good job for that guy. The entire season became an embarrassing spectacle, and Goodell is done. The entire situation, excuse me, not season. The entire situation became an embarrassing spectacle. According to Pro Football Talk, the man running the NFL uh, said the following Wednesday, I haven't thought about this in a few weeks. This was, as I said to you before, about creating an opportunity, which Collins' representatives came out in early October with a list of false narratives about Kaepernick, and we created that opportunity. It was a unique opportunity, incredible opportunity, and he chose not to take it. I understand that, and you know we've moved on. Nice. They should have moved on because we saw clearly from that last situation that Kaepernick is more, he's more, he, he wants to promote himself. He's not about team. He's not about the NFL. He's not about football. He's about self-promoting and he's done a fairly good job of that. So what does he need the NFL for? He doesn't, because he's, like I said, he's not part, he doesn't want to be part of a team. He just wants to be for himself. I mean, his whole, his whole spectacle movement that he's tried was predicated on false pretenses. The whole hands up, don't shoot, that never happened. Once body camera footage came out of the whole incident, I, th I think this was the Freddie Gray or Graham, I don't recall his last name, I think it was Freddie Gray, uh, the whole incident was that the cops shot an unarmed man with his hands up, and he was saying, don't shoot, my hands are up. That's not what happened at all, actually. When it came down to actual evidence in that case, that man went after a police officer's firearm, and another officer, unfortunately, had to shoot. Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing. I don't think anybody wants to see someone's life get snuffed out at all. You know, for the most part. But the fact that you were doing your little activism on something that didn't actually happen, you know, that's that screwed up how everyone viewed this situation. I get it. I get where you were coming from in, in the beginning. But like I said, the, the situation that you were stating was the whole reason why you started this didn't happen. So I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Good. Uh, now that we know the league has moved on, can the rest of us uh, never have to hear about Colin Kaepernick ever again? Yeah, it's not going to be that simple. I'm, I'm 
positive it's not that simple. He's uh, never going to play in the NFL again. He's just not, and anybody who thinks he will is a moron. It's that simple. That's yeah, about the size of it. If Kaepernick was going to play again, it would have already happened. The workout stunt and the circus around it just proved that the former 49 player has no intention of trying to play again. Yeah, exactly, it's self-promotion. He wants to be a martyr. He wants to be a victim, and he really doesn't want to be back on the field. At this part, it's just a waste of time to pretend otherwise. Goodell should absolutely move forward uh, without thinking about Kaepernick. There's no reason to even give him the time of day. Agreed. Let's put the uh, issue to rest forever and focus on players who are actually on the field. Agreed. Agreed. Kaepernick, your days are, your days are numbered in the NFL. Anyone with eyes can see that all you're about is yourself and self-promotion and, and trying to find sponsors that will get behind you with your activism. That's fine and dandy. Stop calling yourself a football player and just start calling yourself what you are and what you truly want to be. And that's some progressive, nonsensical, mindless activist like the rest of them. That's cool. You know, we get it. Fine. Go do that. But stop trying to hide behind this, this fake racism and bigotry and all this stuff that you're, you're claiming the NFL is doing. I uh, hate to tell you, but the NFL, it's, it's, it's not a racist, really, organization. Look at, just look at the demographics of, of the NFL and tell me if you can really, honestly, truly believe or say and believe what you're saying, that they're racist and that all the owners and this, that, and the other are racist and they just don't like you because you're color? I don't think that's a very sound argument when you look at the demographics of the NFL. Not a sound argument at all. This is all about your own personal gain, which you've made millions off your activism, so I don't know why you're even trying to do this. I guess because you want a bigger stage. And you want to be in the limelight once a week? Well, guess what? You're not going to get that. America, Americans, football watchers, and all this stuff are kind of sick of you. You made your bed and I sleep in it. Activism gets you nowhere. And that's, that's a message to everybody. Activism like this will get you nowhere. If you're going to be an activist, do it the right way. Don't just sit there and try to self-promote during it. Because all it does is make you look foolish. Love to hear your comments, as always, because I know this is this is something that has bolstered many comments every time I make a video about Kaepernick. And most people tend to agree that, you know, after especially after that last stunt, that this is about him promoting himself. He doesn't care about football. But let's get back to football. Let's get the game back to the game. And by God, can we please have the national anthem at the beginning again? You know... Me and my family actually enjoyed that. But I don't know if we'll ever see that thanks to Kaepernick. But, as always, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you all on the flip side.